10 days ago on 1st of November I received one phone call from a big pharma company HR he's a recruiter he's been a very old friend of mine and he is upset the reason is he missed on his hiring recruitment targets and of course his boss is now yelling him the HR manager is now yelling at him and he's like shekhar please help me this month i want to achieve my target i have these many requirements how can your company help me so we started talking we tried to understand why he could not recruit and then i went out and contacted many other biotech hr recruiters and started talking to them as well the picture they painted was really dark so I, i thought to tell all of you because many of you seek jobs in the biotech industry and if you all have a very good understanding of the challenges these recruiters face then you can get jobs faster because you can solve that problem at any point in time biotechnica is in touch with more than 1000 plus hr recruiters who recruit for the biotech industry in india and if you want to know globally how many hr recruiters are there for biotech it's more than 7000 more than 7000 hr professionals hire for the biotech industry globally in india it is 1000 now having said that uh, we are in touch with uh, most of them on and off and they keep telling us the problems they face so i'm making this video so that my subscribers and uh, students of biotechnica are well aware why they are not getting a job and what they need to do now let's first understand why exactly that call happened on 1st of november because of course he missed on his target right and 1st of november his review happened uh, his manager scolded him that why didn't you achieve your target right so he kept he started telling me the reasons and the first reason was raw talent versus industry expectation mismatch when you pass out your raw talent like you are you can do a lot of things but you don't have specialization so biotech right now is experiencing a exponential demand curve now having said that at the same time many of the students who are coming out of the college they do not have, do not have the experience right and uh, the old school professionals are not adept with the new age technology so that is leading to limited profiles limited specialized profiles for example this particular hr had a requirement for wet lab plus computational biology experienced in good manufacturing practices with glp profile so he was looking for some specialized ones but mostly freshers will not have that and experienced ones also won't have the computational side so we could arrange the students who had wet lab plus computational but of course they lacked the gmp experience so these are the kind of challenges um, recruiters are facing now with the advent of bioinformatics cdm crispr gene therapy qa qc regulatory affairs ai in regulatory affairs biologics manufacturing all of this is exploding and the recruiters are facing a lot of talent crunch trust me the way you are facing a lot of job crunch they are facing a lot of talent crunch now that is where the difficulty level is very very high now moving forward they require hyper specialized skill set okay so let's say a combination of molecular biology with ngs experience cell culture with flow cytometry bioinformatics with python and r and ai qc microbiology with regulatory exposure documentation with gxp compliance so a lot of rare combinations now these rare combinations again leads to narrow candidate pools and long sourcing cycles so they have to keep hunting hunting and then finally you know where things get stuck is a candidate says i cannot move out of this city i want my job in this city so that is where it becomes very difficult and most of the biotech companies are out of city they are not in inside the city the factories won't be inside the city so they are out of the city then the the the, the salary expectation mismatch happens because of course uh, the living costs in the you know cities are very high and um, if uh, the salary is low then the candidate feels that maybe I, if i try some more time i can get better salaries so what we are observing is mid size companies and startups are offering freshers a salary of 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs general profiles and with mid level experience it goes up to 10 to 15 
lakhs per annum and that's again uh, uh, molecular biology and uh, biochemistry experience now this gap which is there in the industry which is leading to a lot of failed negotiations a lot of candidates uh, waiting for better opportunities and not joining and that is why the hr recruiters is str struggling so now the question is how would you solve this problem because of course you are a fresher right or you have less experience very simple you need to justify why you are better than an experienced candidate that's number one and the second one is how can you get specialized combination of experiences so what we have seen is these recruiters often hire freshers or little lesser experienced people also with good combination let's say a wet lab guy with a computational biology component or a um, qaqc microbiology with a global regulatory affairs training this kind of combinations work so you have to understand what combinations uh, experienced people don't have right while well, those combinations you have now this is gold i'm telling you if the experienced people only have wet lab experience they don't have computational biology experience they might have all the glp gmp but they don't have computational biology it will take a lot of time for them to learn why don't you learn computational biology that is bioinformatics aml and go for the wet lab job you already have wet lab training so this is where we can solve this problem as a fresher or as a subscriber of biotechnica now we have also seen a lot of extremely high offer dropout rate so multiple interviews happen then finally one candidate got selected last minute they reject or they back out this is something really dangerous it should not happen uh, anywhere but of course the candidate will have their own reason so far we have seen that 35% of the candidates do not turn up for the interview because of some issues 50% of the candidates are dropping out after receiving the job offer now that's staggering that means 85% people never made it right 15% people get hired so out of 100 people okay if you just show up for the interview right you are ahead of 35% people and if you got a job offer and you did not decline then you are ahead of 85% of the people you are in the top 15% right so you have to remember this if a job is being offered even if sometimes the salary might be low of course i'm not saying you take anything below 25 30000 rupees but if it is doable take it because today's experience today's training or experience which you will take there is going to build your tomorrow so it's 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 no brainer to take that uh, training now another problem which most freshers and that's what i'm trying to solve with this video is they have less awareness of um, the upcoming new age jobs and when i make videos on them they will brush it off saying that hey he's just telling because he wants to sell me a course okay don't take biotechnica course doesn't matter okay but at least know that these are new age jobs which you have to do the era of wet lab job is gone it's saturated no new companies opening for a 10 crore investment only 10 people can get a job you should know this in a biotech wet lab lab if biocon opens a lab after spending 10 crores it can only employ 10 people however when it comes to dry lab it comes to clinical data management regulatory affairs qc documentation clinical trial analytics you have a lot of jobs you have a lot of ai implications in these jobs you can implement ai in these jobs and new era has opened for all the biotech subscribers of biotechnica so you have to know that this this limitation of awareness is not going to help see when you joined your bachelor's or masters in biotech did anyone anyone tell you that only wet lab job is the only type of job you can do that's not true there are many other type of jobs which is available right and if you hate wet lab doesn't matter i'll make another video where i'll tell you there are many other jobs which are not wet lab but even remotely not related to wet lab but a lot of money is there right so this is you know problem lack of awareness and that's what i'm trying to solve with this video then many of you have geographical rigidity i am a gujarati i want job in ahmedabad only i i am a north indian i don't want to come to south india see that is not going to help i know i had student uh, he is in assam right now he is the only single child of his parents and he says they are getting old how can i leave them and go for a job in bangalore even though he got one i said see 19 years ago even i had to do that i had that choice i had to do that right so you will have to understand that 
जन्म भूमि एंड कर्म भूमि आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स इफ यू गेट अ जॉब हेयर यू कैन ऑलवेज ब्रिंग योर पेरेंट्स हेयर यू कैन गिव दम गुड लाइफ और मे बी यू कैन एटलीस्ट गेट दम ट्रीटमेंट हेयर डजेंट मैटर बट इफ यू डोंट गेट स्टार्टेड एवर देन देर इज नो पॉइंट इन स्टडिंग बायोटेक देन यू कैन गो फॉर एनी रेगुलर जॉब दर इज नो नीड ऑफ बायोटेक डिग्री राइट सो दिस रीलोकेशन हेजिटेंसी and then you say if i am relocating i need a better salary that is where see hrs have a lot of options so they might not take you right so that leads to slow hiring cycles there is another problem with which uh, you should know with a, as a biotech uh, professional there is no one uh, round of interview which will happen like i have seen uh, for a big pharma company it takes 2 months right Two months from the day it began the interview to the day that this person got hired, right? So there's a multi-layered evaluation. Scientist will come, he'll take interview. Next scientist will come, he'll take interview. There will be technical assessment. There will be written interviews. There will be long approval cycles, right? And then there will be delayed salary finalizations, and this can lead to a lot of delays. So you need to have patience. But at the same time, the moment you are getting a job, and if it is decent, take it. First job is always sacred. Take it. Okay, if it is good salary, if you're getting good exposure, if it is a good company, take it, and then start building on your experience. Once you have gained the experience, of course, Biotechnica will can get you even more jobs, right? But this is very important. Another thing which I have seen is uh, many students they have a lot of good academic scores, like marks, like 95% marks, 91% marks. but they don't have practical exposure the next practical exposure is very very poor and whatever they know is outdated one student in the interview could not even ask how can you uh, you know measure a one molar solution how can you create a one molar solution he he had no idea right so if this small basic things are not there how can you expect advanced things right so the era has come where we stop pushing our students towards heavy curriculum instead we make them job ready because it's a vocational course it's a professional course it should not teach obsolete techniques and i see a lot of colleges even today training on old techniques which which is no um, real exposure or requirement even today right and very limited industry projects and exposures are happening to students so if you are an academic professor reach out to me i will definitely help your students gain a lot of uh, knowledge and experience you can write to me at shekharatbiotechnical.org but remember that uh, if you are not taking charge your students will become outdated and then it will be too late right now another thing which uh, biotech industry is facing is many candidates will send fake certificates or misrepresentation of the skills or um, they will just inflate the project experience they would not have done it right and that leads to rejection or exaggeration in the resume so you know in the era of ai especially it exaggerates a lot right so don't exaggerate whatever is the truth write it of course build on your skill each time you get rejected doesn't matter you can always win the next time but you have to keep working hard HRs are struggling equally just like you are struggling but we have to bridge the gap as biotechnica we have to listen to both sides i always talk about the student side today i'm talking about the hr side because they are the guys whom we are talking to to help you guys get recruited but if you are not ready i cannot help right so build on the skill set and understand that there is always a learning curve it won't take a lot of time if it, if it is taking more than 6 months and getting placed i think you are doing something wrong you need to fix that generally i have seen even freshers get a job within 6 months right and very soon i'm going to make another video where i'll mention jobs where you don't require a wet lab experience so many of you have told that you don't like wet lab so no problem you can always have a dry lab job in industry also so having said that uh, like i said in the beginning there are 1000 hr recruiters hiring for the biotech industry and we are in touch with all of them most of them and uh, by our corporate uh, reach outreach team as well as the placement team and i keep listening all these stories so i thought i will uh, compile all of that in one video let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or anything you would like to understand about the biotech industry's hiring process so that i can guide you support you mentor you and nurture you all the best